Did you realize that cancer is the number one cause of death by disease for children? And each day, 43 kids in the U.S. are diagnosed with cancer. That's why the Tampa Bay Buccaneers organization continues to support the fight against childhood cancer through their annual Cut and Color Funds the Cure event to benefit the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation. All right, today we're at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers headquarters for a look at what they do off the field. Here's my story. Buccaneers players and staff members agreed to have their heads or facial hair shaven or colored red by kids who have been stricken with cancer. All this to raise money and awareness for the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation headquartered in Tampa. The Bucks have raised over $600,000 over the last nine years participating in this event. Let me tell you, these kids had a blast with the team who allowed them to create their fashionable new look. Just let the kids go at it, so it was awesome. I like it, saw it a little bit. When I heard they're gonna dye it, you know, either red or orange, I'm like, I suppose I can do that. You know, it's not gonna look too much different. You know, it's it's hard looking this good when um, the hair is red. I'm trying to take after Co a little bit here, but um, it's always nice to support the kids around the community and help them out however we can. And you know, this is a fun fun way to help out. So, uh, I think the color was the was the back the best option. Uh, it's kind of nice. I like they did a great job. Man, I, I'm just I'm just blessed to be here. I'm just I was just happy just seeing the smile on their faces, and I'm happy that Tampa Bay is is doing this. Now, this is uh, my ninth year doing this, and how can I look a little boy or a little girl in the eye that lost their hair and are fighting chemo and tell them I don't want them to shave my head? So I'll do it every year and just to try to put a laugh and a smile on a face. It's a lot, he looks a lot better with his cut than I do. I, I did it a couple years ago, and my uh, wife and kids made me promise I would never take it down uh, as, far, as far as I did before. But I like the color. It looks good. Oh man, Vincent did a heck of a job on me. I'm thinking about making him my personal barber. I haven't had it colored like that in a long time. Uh, I think it's a great cause to come for the cure and I'm happy to be a part of it. The Bucks annual donation check means everything to the foundation. You know, players playing football fight every day on the field. These kids fight every day for the rest of their life. So the research that we can get done is gonna make a huge difference in their lives. And for the parents of children suffering from cancer, this support offers hope. It's absolutely amazing. Um, not until my daughter was diagnosed with a brain tumor did I know, did I really realize exactly how much cancer impacts children and how much they suffer. And they're very, very strong. I, I've seen my daughter and plenty of children when she had infusion in which they were tougher than a lot of adults would be given that situation. So the fact that the Bucks have been able to raise these funds for studies and testing and helping it be better for them not to have to suffer so much as they go through this, it means a lot. For the Bucks staff and players, what they do off the field to help the community is a big part of their playbook. It's all about the kids and trying to give them a day to not think about needles and chemotherapy and doctors and hospitals and they give their families a break. He promised me no gray would come back. Every day 43 parents are called up and said your boy or your son or daughter has cancer and that has to stop and you know we have a platform and we have the ability and to bring them down here this is a, our entire organization initiative and we just uh, we want to try to help bring awareness and bring some change. Well, it's great that we, you know, help out in the community. I think it's one of the most important parts of the NFL, you know, giving back to the surrounding parts around here. And, you know, it's just a great time helping all the youth and putting a smile on their face. It's very important. I believe it's very important. Just just anything we can do that off the field and just, you know, you got fans out here that, that come every day and, you know, they support us. So, you know, we want to support them too. These are the kind of guys that we wanted to bring in here and, and, it never ceases to amaze me how great these players are in terms of what they do for the community and how much they want to do it in, a, in selfless uh, acts of, of 
the way that they want to do it. So it's it's amazing. That's great to get them in the community. I think it has a calling for each and every guy to do something about it, and these guys are happy to do it. it says a lot about their character. What a fun day of encouragement and putting smiles on the faces of these courageous kids. All right, that's a wrap from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers headquarters. For Good Life Tampa Bay, I'm H. John Mejia. Hey, for more information on the foundation, go to nationalpcf.org. That's nationalpcf.org.